What's up guys, it's Damon. If you didn't know, this week I just turned 30. I know, I can't believe it either. In this video, I'm gonna show you three things that I've done to become successful by the age of 30. So let's get into it. Step one, don't reinvent the wheel. So especially when I was starting off, I didn't try to reinvent the wheel. I didn't try and go find some new way to be successful in the world. I just found people who were doing things that were making good money at a young age and being able to invest their money in things and I went and just copied it. So I found someone who was selling pest control and being able to make over $100,000 at only 24 years old and they were also using that money to invest in cryptocurrency, the stock market, as well as real estate and I was like, I'm just going to copy what they're doing. And so that's what I did. I just went out and sold pest control to the best of my abilities, made $41,000 in just two months and then used that money to start my capital to be building my real estate and my other investment portfolio. So find someone in your life that you think is more successful than you and don't try and reinvent the wheel. Just go and replicate what they're doing and do it to the best of your abilities. Don't just half-ass it or do it along you know, what they're doing. Go and increase it and really put in the extra steps that maybe they're not doing. Take it to the next level. And that's kind of what I did. After I learned how to sell pest control, then I was like, alright, how can I make this even more successful? And the way for me to do that was for recruiting and helping other people to become successful in pest control. And so by doing that, I was able to benefit by our teams doing well and me getting paid bonuses off of our production. So find someone in your life who's successful and don't reinvent the wheel. Copy what they're doing and take it to the next level. Step two, do the little things every single day. Just like making your bed every day. I really don't think I've been the best at any of the things I've tried, whether that's sales or recruiting or real estate or any of those aspects of business. I just keep showing up and doing little things every single day until I get to where I need to go. I'm just constantly chipping away at my goals until I get there. And I think that's what really has helped me. I just constantly refine the skill set that's helping me to be better at sales or be better at recruiting or close more people on the doors, or close more recruits, or close more real estate properties. I'm always pushing towards the next step. And it's just little tiny instances like that that's helped me to kind of inch my way towards success. It doesn't happen all at once. You really do need some patience, which I'm bad at, but I think that it's been a learning experience for me just constantly pushing towards my goal and really making sure that I do little things every day, whether that's make your bed, or close the shower curtain to just build a strong morning routine and you start checking those little things off your list in the morning, which leads to you checking the rest of the things off your list throughout the rest of the day. I'm also a big believer in you know paper planners and using these throughout the day to make sure you're accomplishing all the things that you set out to do. And it's way easier than having to remember mentally what you were trying to do all throughout the day you're using some of your mental capacity to remember things instead of just being able to constantly focus on the task at hand to accomplish what you're doing. So I really think that's one of the things that's helped me to get to where I've gotten. Number three, be the first to wake up and the last to leave. Being the first to show up and the last to leave sounds super simple. But doing it every single day for years at a time in order to hit your goals is the really challenging part. I think that's one of the things that has made me successful is I've just been willing to give in to being tired a lot, just getting up when I need to get up, going into the office, and then being productive. I don't just play ping pong or hit pool balls. I'm in there to work and I'm constantly trying to find the next productive thing to do so that I can constantly keep moving in the direction of my goals. And so getting up early and having your routine is important, but being productive throughout every hour of the day is what really is gonna move the needle for you. And so I think that's like one of the most important takeaways of this video. If you wanna learn more about how I can help you hit your real estate goals, as well as just be successful in everyday life, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for all the future videos.